Hi, welcome to my channel, Brandy Vision. I'm doing a collective reading and cleanse. I'm gonna call it a Monday. Happy Monday. I have Palo Santo and an orange, like mandarin candle. Cleanse that are sacred for any interactions that we've had throughout our day. Go ahead, take a deep breath and just look into the flame. And release. Beautiful thick cloud cleansing our energy aura field. Really getting our crown in the third eye. And circling down to the root. Out. Drawing the Reiki symbols. I have this amethyst point. begin our Reiki to help infuse in our Reiki. I have extra virgin olive oil. I'll be putting this on my hands as a base. And then I have frankincense and essential oil. be putting on top to work through your chakra points and clear out what's no longer needed and bring in that balance and that higher light energy included in the Reiki today. Okay? So go get comfortable at this time.
going back in with that amethyst. Starting to grow something unique here. Your third eye, something you reiki at this time. Reiki at this time. Right along the back. Now taking that energy down. Moving that energy down to your solar plexus. Sending you Reiki.
across the meander to down to your root. Pushing the energy out of your feet. Here we go. Taking the same crystal, we're going to close up your chakras. Taking that balance and the high vibing energy that you align. Now that we're aligned, we'll begin with drawing a card. Saint Mark Goddess has a message for us. Our feminine energy. Caring, peace. Dolphins, bloom, mother, healthy eating, naturalism, sunshine, protection, and breeze. There is no need to worry. There is no need to worry. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. As everything is working out beautifully. Hold that message with your alignment today. The word peace, peace. for the next. I have a special Halloween. Nightmare before Christmas. message that we're targeting about our career because it is Monday after all. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Presents, working hard, being patient, and also understanding when it's time to rest and put down the shovel, when it's time to stop unwrapping and call it a night. The two of needles. Again, when is it time to put down the sewing machine, Sally, and call it a night? You're putting in hard work, 
but there comes a point when you don't want to get burnt out or pulled in two different directions is what I hear or two different people relying on you too much the word too in particular okay give yourself a rest I feel like your job is important though you know her making Santa's coat was essential essential workers out there and finally a message from our angels postcard I love these. They're all different colored. They have little symbols in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Let's pull one. Encouragement for our Monday. You are not alone. Archangels coming through. We're never alone. Dearest you, there are times you get lost but refuse to see your part in things. Happens to everyone. Something feels familiar, but sort of off. If you're feeling confused, it's best to throw away that map you're using, which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences. That isn't what you need right now. Instead, take a deep breath and open up to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means that part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that shows up in your life. Yes, that's right, time to wake up and start again. By the way, you will always get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so much, we really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out of denial is like being temporarily blinded by a super bright light that allows your eyes just a moment to adjust. So carry on, special one, a beautiful life awaits you. Loving you so, so, so much. We have a little rabbit in the front. Live your dreams. Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again full circle in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self whose desires are unmet. Now here you are with a new opportunity to do things from a different and more mature perspective. We want you to trust that this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions and one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. The unknown spaces, the charted places of infinite potential are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You will come full circle and now you can see that everything changes and is made new and is given new hope. Loving you always. You're here to chase your dreams. Okay. Thank you for being with me on the Monday. 